Hello everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. The uh, Loot and Survive update just came out, just today. Sadly, I had to work all night, but here I am at 1 in the morning, ready to play some DD2. Now, uh, as we all know, there's been a full wipe. So, I am assuming I'm going to have zero characters here when I log in. That's generally what wipe means. Yep, they're all gone. Create your hero. Now, who do we want to start off with? I naturally want to hop on the Squire and get things started with him, but I'm not sure. Maybe I want to try a little different route. Let's, uh... Let's try the old Apprentice here. Name your hero. You betcha. Juice will probably work. Alright, and here we are. Oh, this is a tutorial, huh? Defend it until we open the gate. You betcha, homie. I am one gate-defending mofo. It's kind of, uh... Weird the way it started you off. I mean, like I said, I'm assuming this is uh, all part of the tutorial. Quests and missions. Alright. We're doing it. Oh, oh, oh. Things got ugly there. Seems like the camera view has possibly changed. I'm not certain. It feels a little different. Even though it isn't different, it feels a little different for sure. More baddies approaching the crystal cart. Oh no! So they jump you right into the action here. Now. Looks like you've got a little while before the next wave of enemies. It's time to improve your defenses. Without a doubt. Let's improve them up. Let's see, what do we got here? Did we get some free heals on these? Nope. No free heals. Got some free cannonballs, though. I'll take that. So it chained. Oh, I can't upgrade yet. I don't have... Uh, I'm sitting here hitting Q. Attempting to upgrade these cannonball turrets, and that is clearly not an option. Let's get all this business upgraded, though. Definitely want to do something over here. Now, the only option I have is uh, the flame burst. So I'm just going to load up this side with them. Looks like I got plenty. Yeah, I've already repaired them, homie. I was one step ahead of you, Mr. Tutorial. Why, oh, why is it making me go through the tutorial? Hmm. Not allowing you to skip it, it doesn't look like. So let's see, we got four flame bursts there. Let's go uh, a little more power. Hit G when you're ready. Well, I'm not ready yet, man. Not quite yet. Not enough. Alright, not enough to put down another one. So I'm going to have to definitely keep an eye on this side. Because it got beat up pretty bad. Uh, last time around, just in that that little fake start. The fake start wave. Oh, I'm hitting like a truck. <laughs> I don't know if that classifies as truck status, but... Let's see, we're still good up here. Take advantage of some of these. Yeah, it definitely feels... It, it feels way different. I don't know, it seems like maybe the... Maybe it's all in my head. That's always a possibility, too. But something definitely feels different here. Let's go ahead and pop down that flame burst tower right here now. Try to get as many of them in as I can here. Some baddies coming up the middle. Alright, there's more incoming. Not enough. 
come on. Let's see, we're ooh, had a close close call on a couple of my flame bursts here. That's all right though. War boars. Oh no. Anything but the war boars. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's been a week since I played the game. You wouldn't think it'd be a big difference there, but something just feels different with the movement and everything. I'm not uh, not necessarily saying that's a bad thing. I just need to, uh, you know, need to get used to it again. Oh, so it took away my freebies. Oh, you sneaky one. Taking away the free shiz? How wrong is that? I only got one tower that I can place, so. Looks like there's gonna be a whole shitload of flame burst towers going on here. Oh, the cat is crying. This is normally cat on the app time. Cat on the, the app. <laughs> cat on the lap. The cat will jump on you and refuse to leave for the rest of the evening. So he's a little pouty. Alright, let's see. A couple more flame bursts here. Feels a little overkill, but it actually seems like not enough ever on this side. I don't have any more, do I? No, looks like I'm gonna have to do. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a little scrapping here. Help the help the guys out. Let's see, right out of the gates, we're coming over here. Take that, bitches! Oh, they freezing. Warbore. Oh, he's a boss. I was thinking I was introducing a new mob. I didn't realize that's a uh, that's an actual boss. Or it's like a mini boss. It's introducing you to the bossery. Well, I'm glad he chose to come up uh, my strongest lane. That was good of him anyway. Alright, so he's not going to get thrown up in the air. He is not having that shit. Ooh. Take it in the face. There we go. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. I saw that 26,000 and got a little nervous there, but... That wasn't too bad at all. Gonna need, uh some healing over here. Now I'm anxious to see uh, what has been changed in the game. Obviously uh, I'll go through and read up all the patch notes in detail. I just initially just read the press release which uh, court won't have near as much info as the full patch notes. I'm read up on those guys and see where we stand. Oh, we still get this, the chest. Imagine that, a green one. Well, that hasn't changed. Looks like I held him off, that's right. Mr. Knight Commander. And there's my hot new item. I think I'm just going to go ahead and equip it. See what uh see if it gives me additional any additional DPS action. Obviously the first green I found in the game isn't gonna be a huge upgrade, but it's an upgrade, so I'll take it. Anyway, let's um let's get on out of here and get out to a tavern. 
I don't think they've uh, made any changes in the tavern, but we're going to go check it out here. I'm curious to see how uh, how we're going to be queuing up for matches, if it's going to be the same way as it was prior, or if uh, something new was released. Open the forge. Yeah, man. I'm going to open the forge. New items available. Apprentice survivor costume. Corrupted whelp. Oh, yeah. Defense counselor. Lots and lots and lots of accessories. Holy shit. A super rare reward for reaching level 25. Collector's edition. Anyway, there's all kinds of good, uh, good stuff. Awesome indeed. Now let's see. Obviously, I'm gonna have to follow through. Items can be equipped at the forge. Indeed. Let's see. What kind of a pow powerful new item do I want? <clears throat> Maximum mark targets. Huh, I think I'm going to stick with the one I'm already wearing. However, I don't have any chest on, so anything I can get will be better. Same thing with the ring. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to stick with Scavenger's Bite for just a moment. Alright, character hero deck. Oh, see, there we go. We can create a hero. Aha! At last, more character slots. That's awesome. That was one of the um, the things that were a little bit irritating before. Kino, okay, why do I not have... Why is it still giving me the exclamation point? Quests and missions. There we go. Check the mailbox. Alright. I already checked it once. I guess I need to do this in order here. Check the mailbox. I will claim all them goodies here shortly. What's up? It's offering me up another quest. Huh. Lots of stuff. You know what? Let me just go ahead and claim all this stuff. And uh, then go take a look at the forge and see see what kind of interesting stuff we got. Good lord, lots of stuff. Three hundred gems, defense counselor, early access accessory for what every class? Monk survivor costume, more gems. I'm not sure. I, I know I've got the collector's edition, so that should be a part of the gems, but I'm not really sure where all these other gems are coming from. Dragon Defender title. Lots. Lots of stuff. The Defense Council accessory. I'll have to check that out, too. More costumes. 6,000 gems. Jesus, there's a lot of gems. More gems. Huntress accessory. Two hero creation slots. <clears throat> Pardon me. Thank you very much for those hero creation st slots. Monk defense council accessory. Alright, I think that is everything. Yep, looks like that cleans out the mailbox anyway. We'll take a look up here and see what we got. Let's see, and these are all cosmetics, I believe. Cape. Yep, that was all cosmetic stuff there. See, the sphere sheet looks similar. Of course, uh, the proof will be in leveling them all up. 
I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way right now. There we go. Got nine slots to start with. That will uh, be good to get me going. Now let's see. We got the war table. Yeah, we know about the war table. We got a little bit of lagginess there. That's all right. It's day one. Day one of the new update. So I'll take it. Let's see. Where is private? Huh. Definitely a different... Uh... Ooh, sorry for the smashing of the microphone there. Definitely a little different... Start incursion, that's what I'm talking about. Onslaught, oh yeah. Endgame. They're just calling it Endgame now. And Endgame Incursion, Endgame Onslaught. So obviously I want to get to those modes as quickly as possible. Well, there was Private right there. I was a little, uh, yes, yeah, Quick Match or Private. Awesome. So let's go ahead and go into, uh, well, I don't want it on easy. <clears throat> let's go Normal is the highest it's letting me go. New map opened up. Oh, that's how it's navigating around now. Now, the overhead view of the map looks a little different. Random. Ooh, I wonder if you get a bonus for doing a random. I'll have to check all this stuff up. So, are they all public taverns now? I'm not really sure. They, they changed the way the tavern looked a little, which that actually surprised me. I didn't think that was coming. So yeah, I guess it's, for now, it looks like it's all social tavern. Get a queue out of there. Stubborn old man. What up, homie? Whoop. Oh, well. So there we go. We got our first failed match login. <clears throat> the main thing I was concerned with was just getting to, uh... I wonder if Uber still cost a fortune. Oh, I gotta complete maps to unlock those areas in the tavern. Wow, it's really, really jumpy, the the lag spikes. Is this guy still offering up quests? Yeah, I'm gonna. I got you, man. Anyway, let's go back to the forge here and see what these quests are. Defend Dragonfall Bazaar. Indeed. I'm going to do it. Let's see. Game type is campaign. Free play incursion onslaught. Very nice. Okay. Let's see, campaign, normal. Dragonfall Bazaar is the one that it wants me to do. Let's see if it'll actually let me in a match. Doing a private match. Uh, now obviously, it still needs to communicate to their servers to start the map. It also puts me right in. No private tavern, which uh, I've got mixed feelings about that. I kind of wanted uh, to get a private tavern, but whatever, I'll take it. And here we are back doing the same familiar maps, but got to get through it again to get to the top. This was actually have the first few maps. This one was my favorite, so I was. Um, I, I don't know, I just always had a lot of fun on this map. But I'm used to having more than just one tower type. That's for certain. That'll let you create a new one right there. This uh, this run could be ugly. Three waves. See, I want to protect here. Oop, 
I guess it helps if I loot a chest first. I didn't want to make this video too terribly long, but on the same note, I did want to have time just to let everybody know there's going to be a whole shitload of DD2 on the channel here over the coming months up until its release. I had uh, a nice little stretch where I just really, really, really was getting into it. And then the wipe was announced. So obviously once the wipe was announced, I didn't bother uh, continuing too much further. I think that's too hot right out of the gates up top here. I don't have that much. Let's see, let's go with that. Now here... We got both of these guys coming in from this side. And there is going to be some ranged. Nothing but the flame burst. I can do two more. I've got four up top. You know what? I'm going to defend this side. So I'm going to put two more right up here where I'm not actively actively defending. Let's see. Oh, it will let me put it up there. Awesome. Let's get this thing going and see how it goes. <clears throat> Come on, baddies. Come on out. Oh, yeah. My new staff is rocking the 309 and 463 crits. Look out! You're about to get walloped now. Walloped! Let's see if we get another little mini boss in this one, too. I'm sure we will. Second map. <clears throat> they put one in the first map. You'd certainly think there'd be one in the second. Let's see, just give a little assist here. And then start shooting them up. Anyway, I'm, I'm excited to get leveled up to level 50 is the cap now. And um, as I mentioned, there's going to be just a ton of DD2. This is probably going to end up being my one of my primary games for the next six months or so. We'll see here. See how long I stay so excited about it. But like I said, uh, just a couple weeks before the wipe I was playing, I got into some of the endgame stuff. And was having a lot of fun with it. And then the wipe got announced, so I kind of backed off of it. And, um, you know, I know as well that people have been streaming and showing videos of the exact same maps over and over and over again for the last six, eight months. So I don't want to show you all that stuff. Um, I do want to get into all this new and exciting stuff, though. Still no more towers unlocked. I wonder if I had to train that or something, or is it going to unlock automatically? You'd think, you'd think I'd pick it up automatically. Anyway, like I said, this is going to be uh, one of my primary games on the channel over the next next several months. As, um, you know, obviously it's a tower defense and strategy gaming channel to begin with. But I can really see myself digging some DD2. And in fact, I'm actually going to bring in some Saturday night live streams starting this Saturday. I've been uh, lucky enough to get into a position where I no longer have to work Saturday nights at the casino. And that's beyond awesome. Uh, besides just being awesome, it's um, be a great time for me to get some live streaming done. So, oh, it will be there. So, uh, if you're not already, follow me on Twitch twitch.tv forward slash juice bags good lord I've got a lot of, a lot of room left I hate to just spam the same tower oh I can upgrade them now damn it I guess I just got that I didn't read over what I'd gotten the previous if that that many Flame Burst Towers is going to get it done. I I'm kind of wondering if anything will. I don't know why I accidentally hit that at the beginning of every wave on this guy. It's like I initially start the wave with a cooldown before I've even seen the first mob. 
but whatever. Die, baddies. Alright, let's see. We need a little bit more flame bursting going on here, but I think I'm gonna choose the upgrade route first instead. Upgrade towers are more powerful than additional unupgraded towers. In most cases, anyway. And in most games. Now, um, they so the entire loot and progression system has been reworked and rebalanced. Which, of course, we don't know what that means yet. But I will definitely be finding out more about what the progression means over the coming days, as um, although this is at the beginning of my work week right now, I am going to be uh, doing as much grinding as I can to get get my guys leveled up and get to the newest form of end game and new modes. See javelin throwers, oh yeah. You javelin throwers are a pain in the ass. Let's see. So what did I have down here? Hit Z to sell towers. I don't want to sell any. I've got eight down here. I think I've got nine up here. Yep. Indeed. So let's go ahead and get some more of these bad boys up. I'm not as concerned with uh, the other side since that's where I'll be facing all the baddies head on. But I would like to keep this gate control, or great control. Is it great or gate? It's great. Great control. I'd like to keep it intact. Ideally. Let's see. You know what? Might as well make it make it nine and nine got plenty of room left I could actually throw down two more I could make it ten and ten it seems like a little much now one of the things is it definitely seemed as if there was um I'll oh, see the javelin throwers and stuff were just regular mobs before they weren't like some special thing that had their own HP which is fine Here he comes now. I don't remember if they had... I don't think they had that much health before. And now they're kind of mini-bosses. Like the... Ogre-ish. Yeah, and before they used to uh, definitely be susceptible to that move. But these javelin throwers do hit hard. There is no doubt about that. Oh, I should have threw up... Uh, I should have put one of my walls up, I didn't even think, but that's alright. Yeah, Javelin Thrower's got the loot. Thank you, thank you for the loots. Got lots of new goodies. Got baddies coming down the middle aisle. So none of my towers, I know my towers took a little damage there, but... I think that's actually the worst one. None of them were showing red on the mini-map. And that one was actually fairly low. I mean, it was below half. Oop, and there we go. So there is map number two. The Dragonfall Bazaar. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Throw it in the comments below. What do you want to see out of DD2? Uh, what characters? What uh, you know? What combos? What are, what are you looking for? What do you like to see? As uh, I'm going to do it all in Dungeon Defenders 2. So thanks again. We'll see you soon.